I've got two different versions here of your stickers. The one you sent me and the one I fixed. So I'm going to show you how I got there. First things first, this thing needs rotated. Um, most of these things I'm going to do, honey, should be available in either GIMP or Photopea. They may just be called vaguely different things or sit in a different menu. So what you want to fix, I'm assuming, is this yellowish tone that should not be here. I mentioned doing other adjustments like levels or auto tone or auto color. In this case, those didn't work quite right. Um, there's two different ways to do a color balance, which is this technique I'm going to show you that'll fix this. There's the destructive way where it just applies to everything. And there's the non-destructive way where you can kind of isolate where it's going to go. So I'm actually going to go to window adjustments. This is the non-destructive way. And I'm going to choose color balance. Over here, I've got my RGB, CMYK, pigment versus light. Um, your image is skewing yellow from what I can see. So you want to push it towards blue. And while that really helps with the tone of your page, you may not necessarily want the critters and everything else to end up that blue. Cause like you'll notice, especially with the black ink, it starts to trend blue. The way you can get around that, especially with a mask is if you click on it, you can choose which parts of the image have that filter applied. So if I come in paint in black, as long as that mask is selected, I can now restore the original color of the dog if it needs to be that warm grayish color instead of the cool gray. So that way you can get almost the white you want and still preserve the colors because they do look different. This is more of a green because I've cranked the blue all the way up to get rid of that yellow tinge. So I went ahead and did that in your other copy of the file. Um, there was a non-destructive mask. I exported it so that you wouldn't have that extra layer. Um, the other way you can do this is the destructive way where it just applies to the entire image. So I'm going to go to color balance again, push it towards blue, and you can change whether you're adjusting the shadows. Looks different depending on which of these you're doing. Most of the times it's going to be your midtones. Highlights, that worked pretty well actually too. So you can fuss around until you get it where you want it. Highlights actually worked really well. Um, look at that compared to that. Um, so yeah, that's the easiest way I can think of to do it. I can show you some other stuff with vectorizing things like this. If you want, when you get home tonight, I feel like there was something else I was going to show you. Let's go back up adjustments. Um, you could also, when you're doing it, that's what it was. If, when you're doing a non-destructive mask, if you want to select just bits of the white. Right now this is selecting what it thinks is only white and I can come in to these little pain in the butt windows and select those. This would save you some time when you're doing the mask. You wouldn't have to mouse over everything like I did earlier. Let's see, there's another window. No windows in the dog window here. Now when I go to create my non-destructive mask, you'll notice it looks a little different. See how it automatically blocked everything out? And now only the paper changes, not the stickers. I think I'm going to give you this one actually. Cool! 